Mr. Chairman, I also have a question for the manager, if I might. Sure. On the terms of the plan expiration report, I didn't want to interrupt the uh, delay the chief, but I had a question on the July 13 code enforcement plan dates. Um, I see that uh, Provco Wawa, we have a date of a meeting for their presentation of uh, August 10th, which says tentative. Can you explain what tentative means, why this is tentative? If there is no extension beyond the existing extension date for the project, the project will be on the agenda for uh, the board's consideration on the 10th of August. Okay, I just want to go on record that I oppose that because uh, we are in the process of asking, I believe, uh, Provco and Wawa to extend the expiration date to the end of September, is that correct? Yes, the solicitors reached out to their uh, legal counsel three times. Right, and so far we haven't heard from the legal counsel because he's in Greece and he has to get in touch with Wawa, which is greasy, maybe, I don't know. But um, I just want to say that if there's anything that we can do to make sure that this meeting happens when the public, is, more of the public is likely to be present because August 10th is a particular uh, high point in vacations that people are taking. And I, myself, will be four hours away from here on vacation. And I would not like to be phoning in. I would like to be here in person. So, if solicitor, if you could do everything that's possible to get this extension to the end of September, uh, I think we, we need to do that. Unfortunately, it's not up to us to set the expiration date. Is that correct? That's correct. It's set by the uh, municipality's planning code. What do you mean it's set by the municipality's planning code? The board has 90 days from the date of application in order to make a decision unless that is extended by uh, the um, uh, agreement between the township and the developer. But it has to be extended by the, the developer, so they have to agree to it. Correct. And so far, uh, you made that request and they haven't agreed to it. That's correct. They haven't not agreed with it. They have That's also it. correct. <laughs> they have done nothing, in other words. So the default would be keeping it at 8.15. So doing nothing is actually doing something. It means that the date is the date is what it is. Well, I agree with you, Mr. Mack. Uh, I, I would like to make sure that this goes into September so that people can be informed and not have to worry about being going on vacation. Uh, if if there's any weight to my position, uh, and I could, you know, help encourage them to move it to September, I would be willing to to do that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will advise if that is necessary. Okay. Please state your name for the record. All right. I know you guys know me, but for the record, uh, my name is Bradley Cooper. And uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, alerting me and being open about the uh, Wawa, since you guys know I'm very passionate about denying it. Um, and um, I do agree with John Mack um, that it does have to be moved to a time when all the supervisors can be here and listen to it. If the uh, applicant, Wawa, Provco, doesn't want to move it, I think that you guys should make a motion or a decision that all the supervisors have to have a say and that you can't make a decision on that day because it's not right that, you know, let's say John Mack can't be here because he's on vacation. Just like the federal government, they get weeks off uh, even though they have a lot that they have to do. So everyone should have to be present for a big decision like that. It's not like allowing a place to move 50 feet um, you know, into another building, or it's not like someone wants to build, uh, you know, a gazebo in the backyard, or they want to uh, put a swimming pool back there, which is not a big, big deal overall. This is a big decision that could sway Newtown, could make uh, the bypass uh, change for the rest of our lives, and it's not something that should be taken lightly. It should be uh, discussed with all the supervisors, and it should be um, thought uh, through uh, what you decide to do and what should be the best course of action because uh, once Wawa gets there, if you guys do decide to approve it, in my opinion, 
Um, it just opens up the door for anybody else who wants to come right next to them. Let's say like a McDonald's or another business. Just tack right on up. Well, Wawa got the approval, so why don't, why don't we do it? Because it seems easy enough. So uh, I appreciate you guys uh, considering tabling it to a time when you can all be here and you can all make an informed decision. And I think that's the best way to do it. Thank you. Um, the Wawa. I'm, I'm just here over the Wawa. Um, I've noticed that a lot of the time when a Wawa moves into an area or does something bigger, they add a bunch of gas stations, that stuff. And I think it's really um, important that we have everybody in this town council and actually in the town listening to it because Wawa moved it. And Wawa is known for doing this. They, they've done this in other towns where they've moved meetings like this about zoning to times when they knew that other supervisors were going to be out doing other things. And I just think that it's kind of manipulative. So, um, and I think that if we allow Wawa to manipulate us like this, we're allowing Wawa to go and cause problems that would affect the autistic community and then make the relationship between the autistic community, the state, police, that much more difficult. Wawa is also known for a lot of really bad labor practices, as I'm sure you've all researched into, but, um, and I don't think that they should be here, but that's a side thing. We should extend the meeting date.